welcome to our online global self-awakening retreat. This is our day nine. And our last day. And we had an incredible time together. It's been a beautiful journey. I had an incredible time being together in in this holy, sacred union of the gathering of the monks on the path, the sannyasins, the seekers of the truth, coming together with one intention, the intention of total freedom. And um, it's the end of this journey together today. Uh, We have many, many other journeys together that we will do. Uh, But today is the last day. So... We will have our academy this coming Wednesday, uh, same time from 10 a.m. to 11.45 a.m. California time. So those of you who are with us uh, viewing this broadcast, um, wherever you are in the world, you're always welcome to join my academy. It's a free online uh, Academy. It's a. Uh, it's through the Zoom. You want to go to our website, which is Zaratustra TV, and sign up there if you want to be interactive. Otherwise, you can watch it on Facebook and Instagram. So, that's going to be our our next event for the moment. All right. So, how are we all doing today? Good. Yeah. Happy? Anybody would like to share anything before I start? Miss Amy, how are you today? I'm doing awesome. It's been an incredible journey. I wasn't even supposed to be doing this. <laughs> yeah, you were supposed to go on a vacation. Yeah, I was um, originally, I was going to go to New York. And um, it's funny because, you know, these days I've been much more in tune. And, um, I was like literally just on my way to the, I was on the airport and I went to the gate and missed my flight. And I was just going to change my flight with my sister. And I, I just said, I was just, my, my intuition just told me not to do it. There's something that just pulled me away from, from doing that. And, um, and so I didn't. And then, um, and then I got the, in, this invite to come here and didn't, didn't plan this and didn't expect to do these many days. And, um, and I just did. And it's been, um, every day has been so incredible and just going deeper and deeper into so much healing and uh, just awareness. <laughs> so thank you. You're welcome. I'm glad you've joined us and thank you, universe, because you're about to go. You're you go to the airport. You're about to fly to go to New York City, and then something stops you and says, yeah. "Uh-uh, you're not going on a vacation. Actually, you're going on a different retreat." So, and you end up here. So, uh, that, that. The 5D vacation. (laughs) Say that, what's that? The 5D vacation. The 5D vacation. And, and that's the beauty of life when 
we surrender to the moment and surrendering in the moment your intuition is a part of this moment and speaks to you and is guiding you and it's always been doing that we're just not we're trained not to pay attention because I mean we've been conditioned not to pay attention to our intuitive knowing which knows everything and and in your case, a Amy's case, you just surrender to that. And even though there is no logical explanation in the last moment, not getting an airplane and flying on a vacation, going to New York City to go on a vacation and a paid vacation, because from what I remember, you told me everything was paid. And then it's like, no, doesn't feel right. And coming back home and not knowing, okay, what am I going to do for the whole week or 10 days? But then all of a sudden, this presents itself. And you find yourself here. And, uh, and you receive whatever you've received that, according to you, it's been a lot, there's been a lot of value to it. So, and what, what's interesting is because this happens to us all the time in life and we just don't pay attention to it. Maybe sometimes we do, but most of the time we don't pay attention that our lives are guided and is full of miracles. Just the sheer being here of being alive and that is a miracle by itself. And in the recognition of just being here, being present, surrendering to this moment, then space opens up and things begin to unfold and reveal themselves versus this other aspect of us that I have to know. I have to know everything. I got to know what I'm doing, where I'm going. Um, this constant... Uh, demand of the mind that it feels like it's in control. This idea of me, of being in control of my life, which is simply an idea, it doesn't even exist. And in this giving into it and believing it, suffering comes because many many times in life things going the direction they want to go and means things are going to happen not according to my idea of that something has to happen in this way so things happen life is and it does its own thing and when we do recognize that then no matter what happens there's a surrender and acceptance in it, that you're accepting what is, what unfolds, whether it's preferable or not, but you're surrendered to it and you're accepting what is. And when we don't notice that and we don't live like that, then suffering comes because things must be my way. Everything has to go this way, my way. That's the idea of what I have. And when it doesn't go that way, naturally suffering happens. Suffering happens to an idea of a person who believes is in control of his or her own destiny. That's an idea too. The I thought, I am someone separated from the source. I am separated from everything else. 